welcome back in the previous video we created our action and reducer for logging a user so in this video we are going to focus on logging a user by this action and action that we have created all right so we will provide a navigation but for now let's do it manually so when i go to slash login you see that oh sorry my server is not running so i'm running only the, the client the server side so let me go back one step and then let me run both client and the server at the same time okay so while it is loading um let's go to vs code and then login a user by dispatching an action so i'm going to show you how you're going to dispatch an action using Redis toolkit all right cool so let me close all these subfolders that have opened here and remember we are working inside a client folder and in there let's locate a page called users and then i have my login so how can we log in or dispatch an action from this component right so before that let's try to test our api if it's working right so i have my api here for login a user so when i make the request you see that i get back the response and my token so instead of doing it from this postman you're going to do it from our react application right so let's look at the steps how you can dispatch the action so first before the early version of redux and redux to a kit before you can dispatch an action we need to do what is called high order function or you call something map prop to dispatch but with this current version of early version of react or redux and redux toolkit we have a useful hook called use dispatch so let's require it from react redux and it's a nice api or hook i'm going to help us to do that so use dispatch so as the name implies use dispatch means what dispatch an action so make sure because this is a hook, you need to call this function inside a component and this is our login component, right? So nice comments, let's call this one dispatch, right? Dispatch, and then let's assign a variable to our hook called dispatch, like that, dispatch. So let's call our use dispatch and call it as that now we have the function to dispatch it now so what do you want to dispatch we want to dispatch our action so let's require the action here called login user action and like i said if the auto import is not working let's go back to the slices sorry user slices and then let's save it again and now let's go back to login and check it out and i believe you're gonna have the auto import there we go it's working now i have the import as here <coughs> all right so <coughs> sorry guys so next step is that where can we dispatch this action we are going to dispatch the action where we get the data from right and in this where we are getting the data from the form is inside this this format and it's inside this function so inside this um, body function let's call dispatch and then we pass in what our login action and this login action if you hover your mouse on it you can see that it accepts payload and the payload is what we want to send and we can get it from what the values so as you saw you can also log it so with this let's try to let me open the dev extension tool into it on window so that we can see it visually or in a nice view so let me make it bigger here and we are going to dispatch our action for the first time using readers toolkit and i'm happy to see the effect right so let me put it here somewhere here and then before the postmark okay so now i have my ui here so let's try to log in this account exists so when i click on login let's look at the dev extension tool and there we go you see something we have all the state so in the pending state 
because we use user slash login, this is my action type. And automatically it append the state whether it's pending or rejected or fulfilled so if you look if you go to the action that we have we created so let me show you the action here you see we made it what user slash login so we know that this action type that it calls is called because of this action that we have dispatched so it says that error invalid credential and you can see here that if you look at the state it says that server error right so let's go back to postman and then let's try to i think my server is not all that good so let me shut down again and then let me restart the server okay and then let me log in from postman here and let's see this credential so when i click on this i get it back so let's use these credentials this email and a password and the email here, mine is bensb7 at gmail.com and the password is 12345. So instead of this admin one, let's replace this one with and the password is 12345. So let's send. Now I've displayed the action. Let's check the dev extension to where is it? And again, it says that name error network error at create well so let's locate where we have the error oh i got it the error simply means that it's because of what cause right so cause simply means that if you are trying to call a different server from a different origin you're going to have this error um the next video we are going to configure express and then so that we can able to make a request from our react application to our node application api so let's do that one in the next video